My name is Kirsten and I'm the teacher. And my name is Owen and I'm an athlete. Slide of NWABA logo, locomotor skill, hopping. Picture of poly spots, tactile map, tactile hopping diagram, artist's figurine. We are gonna learn the locomotor skill of hopping. It builds off of what an athlete has learned for leaping and horizontal jumps. All right, so I have a tactile diagram that I'm going to describe to our athlete, Elwin. Use a tactile diagram along with a tactile map to help demonstrate the movement. I'm gonna show you on our tactile diagram with the push pins what our eventual hopping path will be. Three poly spots are going to be in a row, and you're hopping from one poly spot to the next. Am I on the first one? You're right. Like Currently, you're on the on the second one. So it might but there. In, exactly. Okay. In a minute, we are going to move backwards to the first one. Use an artist's figurine to further demonstrate the movement. So I'm going to show you it. Show you hopping on the artist's figurine. So the arms are going to be bent at 90 degree angles. The elbows are close to their sides. So they don't have to be forward or back. They're just casually up the sides in a 90 degree angle. So like that? Yeah, so you can put it left down and so then the right knee is gonna bend at a 90 degree angle. Like that? Yep. And then when he hops, his right knee isn't gonna move, the rest of his body isn't gonna move. The power's gonna come from his knee. He's just gonna bend, push yeah. off, bend, push, push off, off, and go from poly spot to poly spot. Yeah. I want you to take a couple steps backwards until you are, and then freeze right where you are and then scooch directly to your right. And then one more, and then two steps straight forward towards my voice. And then one more. All right, so right now you are on the first poly spot. I want you to take a quarter turn so you're completely facing my voice. Perfect, right where you are. Now what I want you to do is get, it, get in the ready position just as you'd put the artist figurine on. All right, now what you're gonna do is, so you have your right knee bent, your left knee's out straight, your arms are at 90 degree angles. And now what you're gonna do, I want you to feel how my leg moves. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go opposite to how you were so that my jumping leg is facing you. Okay. So my left knee's bent, my right knee is straight, and my elbows are at 90 degree angles. I'm gonna bend just a little bit and then push up and hop. After explaining the skill, encourage the athlete to try the new skill. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna stand in front of you. I'm standing right in front of the second poly spot. I'm gonna knock on the ground. I want you to get in the hopping ready position. All right, I'm gonna hop to, hop to the poly spot where I'm knocking. I'm gonna move, move just back. All right, ready and hop, nice. All right, when you land, you looked really good on the takeoff. When you land, you're gonna keep your body up straight and you can absorb some of the shock in your knees. Be patient. It may take several attempts for the athlete to fully grasp the skill. I'm gonna say ready, hop, and then you're gonna land on the second poly spot, but I'm not gonna say ready, hop for you to land on the third. You're going to just, you're gonna keep hopping, okay? Got it. So it's two hops. All right, I'm gonna, you're gonna face me. Where I'm knocking, I'm not knocking the first poly, the second poly spot. All right, now I'm knocking on the third poly spot and I'm squatting right behind the third. Got it. All right, ready, hop. Excellent, what I really liked is that even when you got off a little off balance, you took a minute to recenter yourself, get yourself in that ready position again, and then started hopping. For more, visit the Sports Adaptations page at www.nwaba.org. Thank you for watching. Slide of NWABA logo.